I can describe the Sofitel Legend Metropole Hotel in Hanoi in four simple words. I could live here. Originally opened in 1901, the Grand Metropole Hotel, as it was then known, has been through more than its fair share of history, firmly planting itself into the if these walls could talk category. Currently, the hotel has a total of 364 rooms and suites spread across two separate wings, but the hotel started off much smaller. The hotel was originally opened by a pair of French investors with the goal of operating the premier hotel in Vietnam. The wing that we're touring now is indeed that original hotel. In the 1940s, this lobby was frequented by Ho Chi Minh himself, as he used to hold diplomatic meetings here. In 1954, the hotel was taken by the North Vietnamese government, renamed the Reunification Hotel, and from then on operated as the official hotel or guest house of the government. During wartime in the 1960s, a bomb shelter was built below the courtyard under the current pool bar or bamboo bar, which guests in the hotel are welcome to take a daily tour of. Fast forward to post-war 1980s and the government was ready to reopen for tourism and reached an agreement with Pullman Hotels in 1987 to completely rebuild the hotel and bring it back up to a five-star standard. In 1992, the hotel reopened as the Pullman Metropole Hotel, later to become the current Sofitel Legend Metropole Hotel. In 1996, after two years of construction, the larger and more modern opera wing was opened, and that is the side that we're on now, and where my room is located. You can see the weather wasn't really great during this trip, and I was actually considering refilming the outdoor shots next time that I'm in Hanoi. But the hotel has such a comforting and accommodating atmosphere to it, it's almost the perfect place to be on a rainy day. As we walk through the opera wing, I want to talk a bit about service. Sometimes, often actually, at five-star hotels or resorts in Vietnam, the service is very good, but you can feel that it's scripted or perhaps the staff weren't 100% comfortable with the level of service expected of them. It's completely understandable in a developing market like Vietnam, but you won't find any of that here. The service here is polished, with a bit of a French flair, but it's also natural and conversational, and I give them a lot of credit for that. It's a rare combination of faultless service without being pretentious at all. The Metropole has multiple restaurants from French to Vietnamese to fine dining to Pan-Asian to casual poolside bites. As with most city hotels I review though, I'm gonna be focusing on room service. I am a restaurant owner myself, so I might be a little bit biased, but when staying in a city center hotel, I always think supporting local independent restaurants is the way to go. That's not to say that the Metropole doesn't have some fantastic restaurants though, but they also have a really clever room service menu. Essentially, you can order from the standard room service menu or any of the most popular dishes from any of their restaurants. Now we're in the impeccably maintained courtyard with the Metropole wing across from us. The courtyard is the easiest way to get from the upper wing to the Metropole wing, but also has the hotel's pool, pool bar, spa, and behind the glass facade is Le Club Bar which is their all-day dining location at the moment. Just to give a bit of orientation, if you notice the two windows with the lights on, that is my room, which we'll take a look at soon. As we come around the corner, Take note of the far left side of the pool. That's where the stairs leading down to the old bomb shelter are located. Mm -hmm. 
on a nice sunny day, which frankly is a bit of a rarity in Hanoi. Surely the pool though would be packed with expats and locals, and soon enough, tourists. On the left, we have the Bamboo Bar and Lounge. The bar is surprisingly open from 6.30 in the morning and remains open throughout the day. Now, if you're like me and the layout of this hotel is starting to give you a bit of a headache, I'm going to add a hotel map after this clip so you can pause and take a look at it. I'm adding it because surprisingly, it's not that easy to find online. One other hidden in plain sight feature of the courtyard is Le Balcon, which sits atop Le Club Bar and is an added space for events and the like. Straight ahead is the newer upper wing with the Metropole wing to the left, right, and behind us. The easiest way to orient yourself is to just look for the dark green shutters and you'll know you're at the Metropole. Now we make our way down to honestly one of my favorite rooms in all of Vietnam. For this day I booked with Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts and was lucky to be upgraded to a grand premium room. The rate also included an over the top breakfast that you'll see a bit later and a private airport transfer. This is just a normal room, this isn't a suite. But I think based on the angle of the room, I got a bit lucky to have one of the larger floor plans. The style of the Opera Wing rooms is a bit more modern than the Metropole rooms, but both have their fair share of French colonial touches. Given the layout of the hotel, I think this is one of the times where a courtyard view might just be better than a street view room. The only thing I wasn't a fan of was that the windows only open like 5 centimeters. Hanoi does have some nice cool weather in the winter and it would be great to be able to open them wide. Absolutely everything in the room has its own spot and can be easily hidden away. Here's the room service menu and the pillow menu, among others, to give you an idea of what's available. I am a fan of thoughtful welcome gifts, instead of just two apples on a plate, for example. And this assortment has to be one of the best that I've seen in a while. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to the very well stocked mini bar area. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know my opinion about these, and as expected, the coffee, tea, and drink selections were fitting of the hotel. Note the large tins of tea are for purchase. Before we head to the bathroom, let's take a look at the massive closet that I was not expecting. The bathroom is outfitted exactly how you'd expect and frankly how it should be for this class of hotel. In one of those black binders on the desk, you would also find a bath menu. Yes, a bath menu. There were four options, ranging from a complimentary Hermes bubble bath to some much more extravagant options with price tags to match. And yes, the tub did fill up quickly with an overabundance of hot water. For dinner that night, I went for probably the two most stereotypical French items possible, French onion soup and quiche Lorraine, both of which hit the spot. The next morning we check out the interior of Le Club Bar, the primary breakfast restaurant at the time of filming. A nice sized buffet plus a supplemental a la carte menu were available. My apologies for the flickering lights. Seemingly every room at the hotel had multiple types of lighting and no matter what the frame rate I was filming at, there was always something flickering. Whatever was being served at the buffet though cannot compete with this. Let's just say it was a bit more than I was expecting, but exactly on time and literally every single item was the correct temperature and the table was set up in no time, truly living up to the legend name with this breakfast service. After that, a trip to the gym might be in order. Note that the spa is normally accessed through the same corridor, but is currently undergoing a full renovation. 
The gym is nicely equipped with an attendant on duty also. Well, that has brought us almost to the end of this tour. Before coming to the Metropole, I knew of course that it would be a nice hotel, but I was truly pleasantly surprised. From the service, to the room, to the food, to the atmosphere, everything was perfect without being fussy. And for those of you unfamiliar with car prices in Vietnam, a BMW 7 Series like the one they use for transfers retails for a cool $230,000, so that certainly was a nice way to end my stay. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out for anything coming up. It really does help out the channel.